What's going on guys? Uh, M Tech here. I just had to share how insane and how crazy this new coil is. Um, this coil was built as a proper Tesla coil, meaning it's as tall as it is wide and it's a thick 8 gauge primary coil is exactly a quarter the size of the uh, 18 AWG secondary and what happens is when you make your secondary coil as tall as it is wide um, it's as energy efficient as possible and you maximize the dielectric induction with the uh, coil and it, you have to earth ground the bottom of the L2 coil and it will actually draw in energy from the earth and this coil excels at putting all of its power into free space. The only loss in it is in the switching transistor. Um, you can make this MOSFET driven, which I'm going to do. I'm going to make this SIC MOSFET driven, which would be the most efficient. And the circuit actually gets simpler. So I'll show you what this thing can do. It's powered off my little 12 volt battery. And uh, the 12 volts get stepped up from 0 to 600 volts DC from our little ZVS up here. And that feeds the uh, Tesla coil. And I also installed a SIDAC in it. So I kind of took everything we learned from the ringer to create a more powerful Tesla coil that should draw in excess energy through dielectric induction, not magnetic induction, this coil through its very abrupt switching should draw in excess energy from the earth and it actually does that I'll show you that um, on video so I'll turn it on and this little coil just behaves phenomenally I've never seen a little coil act this good uh, the input is um, 180 volts DC and it would get even better if I, I replaced the circuitry with, mo with a MOSFET, an SIC MOSFET. Because for this coil's mode of operation, um, we're basically using a current controlled switch, being the NPN transistor. And the correct switch for this type of power would be a voltage controlled switch, being the MOSFET. So I'm going to upgrade to that soon. And notice how this is a current meter reading the, the coil's current consumption. Notice how if I touch the bulb to the coil it gets very dim and goes out that is a sign you want it's sh and there's no sparks that come off the coil when I touch this bulb to the coil there is no sparks at all that is a sign you have a true real Tesla coil and we're still consuming a little bit of power just less power so what's occurring is the coil excels at putting all of its power through dielectric induction into free space. Um, this is not a lossy spark, sparky Tesla coil. Any Tesla coil that gives off sparks is an incorrect Tesla coil. Um, and like I said, the way you make it perfect is with a MOSFET and um, you input a very high voltage into it, 0 to 600 volts DC. This guy is using 200 volts on the input you can make this thing get much better. The ball is just the radiative dielectric antenna. And I'll show you the efficiency savings from the earth ground. And the earth ground connection actually sparks. So I'll remove the earth ground connection. And we consume more power. And when I reconnect the earth, we save power. So that's showing that the system is actually drawing in power from the earth when you earth ground it and the range is just insane so that's my update I have to shut it off because the, tr the switching transistor does build a little bit of heat I don't have quite a big enough heat sink on it and um, I also need to upgrade it from a trans from an NPN to a MOSFET which would be a lot cleaner and make the um, the switching a lot more abrupt for what we want um, good look at the circuit it's basically just a modified Slayer Exciter with a um, SIDAC on the input to increase the abrupt switching. Frequency is about 10 megahertz on this guy. Um, and again, this is a real Tesla coil that outputs power through dielectric induction. Uh, there's no sparks when you get close to it. Turn it on again to show you. 
Notice how the power is in free space in a very powerful field, dielectric field, at a certain distance from the coil. You get too closer, it shuts off. Or it's still broadcasting, but you're not, you're not in the field zone. The field zone excels about six inches from the coil. And um, it's just phenomenal. You build it exactly to these parameters, it'll perform like magic. And I've never seen wireless power effects this intense from an LED light. Like, we really know now how to really build this thing powerful and simple. It was absolutely crazy. Um, that actually just burned out. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit, that burned out. Damn. Well, that's just crazy. So anyway, that's the crazy Tesla coil. It's as tall as it is wide. Um, we know how to build it properly. I put a post on my YouTube channel how to build it properly. So yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, join the Patreon, and support us in any way you can. And thank you.